This is NWA 941. Today I'm going to show you a, a quick review of the Allegiant 757-200 um, special release by Gemini Jets. Uh, first of all, this video is dedicated to Virgin Atlantic Flyer. I know he's a huge 757 fan, all types, 200, 300, winglets, no winglets. He loves all of them, so this is dedicated to him. So, uh, just get started. This aircraft was purchased from Gemini Jets, the actual location at the airplane shop in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is also where Allegiant is based. Um, when I was there, I saw taxiing out about six of their MD-80 series aircraft, uh, 82s, 83s, I guess all the MD-80s that they have, I'm not sure what variants. Um, and this actual aircraft right here, this registration, this exact same Allegiant 757. Um, I believe it is the only one of them. The registration is uh, N902. I'll show you if I can get focused on it. N902NV. NV is for Nevada. Like I said, where they're based out of, Las Vegas. I believe this is their only 757-200. Um, they actually had it on lease to, I want to say, travel service. Or not, excuse me, not travel service. Jet 2. I'm not sure. I, I know it was one of the uh, European United Kingdom uh, holiday charter aircraft, uh, airlines. Um, I'd have to check and see which airline, but they had it on lease and now they have it certified and ready to go. They'll be using them to uh, fly to uh, Hawaii, actually, so they should be starting that soon. And these are their new colors, so it's a great looking model. Um, vibrant orange tail, orangish yellow tail. Uh, pretty much it's, it's the same livery that they have. Um, same colors, just revised. So, you know, brighter, like I said, it says Allegiant. Uh, the sun is different right here. Uh, beautiful. This is probably the best 757 Gemini has released. Um, it's a special release, so you won't be able to get it on too many websites. Uh, Gemini just doesn't even have it listed. Um, you just have to know about it. Um, I believe it's widely released, so it's not too rare, but like I said, it is sort of rare, so I'm glad I got this. I did, like I said, get it at the airplane shop in Las Vegas, Nevada. They had great deals. I uh, actually got other models, and this was just a plus. So you see the winglets. Winglets are also very detailed. They have uh, this, pretty much the winglets match the tail. Um, they're great colors. The wings are great looking. You see there's no overwing exits because there's no overwing doors. Has eight aircraft uh, door exits. Typical 757. Uh, the winglets. So this is, like I said, a great looking model. And uh, I just, if you can get it, get it. It's wonderful. Not too expensive. 2011 release. And uh, that's pretty much it. So check it out. Uh, I also have a lot of new vids up. So be sure to check those out. I'm trying to hit 100,000 views. I have a lot of vids of my trip. And um, NWA941 saying comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for all the views. Hope you enjoy this quick review of the Allegiant 757. Also, one more thing I'll tell you about the box. Um, it's not like the typical, it's just like all the other Allegiant boxes. No information and it just says Allegiant pretty much. So, that's that. I'll show you it compared to the old Allegiant. Um, and so now I have both of them at their remote stands because they are charter airlines. If I do put them at gates, it'll be at the Delta gates or at another remote stand. You see the uh, difference between the, the old and the new colors. So that's pretty much Allegiant. And um, hope you enjoy this. Now you can see this is a MD-82, I believe. I'm not sure if it's the MD-82 or 83. I think it's the 82 by Gemini Jets. And next to its family member, I won't call it a family member because they're McDonnell Douglas Boeing, but fellow Allegiant, so 757 at their remote stands. So NWA9 for one saying comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, once again, thanks for watching.